Well, welcome back to another 3.edit VSE uh, tutorial, or um, maybe it's just a quick tip today. So I've been editing a package uh, or a story recently, and I've been scrubbing through footage, uh, going to select reels, and then coming back and performing edits. And I was finding it a bit annoying to scrub through the timeline to find stuff because it's not very evident what everything is. So apart from having the timeline, which is very helpful for jumping to the right place, which is this area down the bottom, I wondered if it might be a handy to segment up my um, working area. So as you can see, this is the standard VSE layout. I'll go up to the top corner and drag out a new window. I'll drag it down like this. And what you can see at the bottom is a whole bunch of tracks all smooshed up, very, very small. And at the top, um, I will press the home key and you can see all the footage. There's my edit at the front. This is my edit or my story. And then down the back, this area over here are all my wild shots or my selects. And what I've done is I've added an effect. Press the N key for properties. At the bottom here, I've added a, an effect on the bottom track and I've color keyed it, as you can see here, so it's easy to recognize and I've labeled it wild footage and wild footage too and then down the front over here I've done the same for my edit and I've called that master edit and uh, a credit a credits area as well so what that means is that I can easily navigate through this um, layout timeline layout what I'll do is I'll maximize this window at the bottom by pressing the control up key and I will zoom this window so that it only shows the actual tracks. So here you go. Resize this. Control up again. And now you can see down the bottom here that all I'm showing are those slabs of color or um, color effect clips. And to navigate the timeline, I simply highlight the one I want to zoom to. I hover over the window I want to change or zoom and I press the period key on the um, uh, on the keyboard to zoom. So it zooms to that element. You notice that the whole window zooms to that size or resizes to that clip. If I click the next one, hover over the window I want to use, press the period key again and it jumps jumps to that section of the timeline. If I go down to my wild footage and click on there and then come back to this window and press the period key, it zooms to there. If I highlight two objects like the wild footage 1 and wild footage 2 and now click up here and press the period key, it zooms both of them. If I go down to the front to the master and the credit space, I'll come back up to my window, press the period key, it zooms both of those. So it's very handy. Now I'll make a new window, whoops, wrong one, make a new window, drag it across and split that. Let's have a look at the pictures. There's me in my movie and I'll turn off the properties there. So what I can do here is, whoops, Click zoom. Now I can have my wild footage available to edit with and over on this side I can have my edit area available to edit with. So now I've got one region on this side and one region on that side. I can copy and paste my elements from here over to here. The other thing that I can do is that I can split this timeline up so that there is a video element on the bottom and an audio element on the top. And the way that I do that is drag down another window for the VSE like this. I'll just turn off the properties, they're a bit bit large. And then I can shrink the top section back up like that so that it only encompasses the audio. And likewise at the bottom I can shrink that down so it only encompasses the video. In this way, I can have access to a synchronized display of my audio clips on top like this. 
and my video clips on the bottom like that. So anyway, there's another quick tip from uh, Three Point Edit. Hope you enjoy. I hope this is a useful layout and that um, maybe there's uh, some other features that I haven't thought of yet. But uh, anyway, good luck and uh, come back later and maybe we'll have another quick tip.